This is the story about the time I found myself running from a forest fire. After a slow week on the road eating Tim Hortons and showering in glacial lakes, I almost felt like I needed some sort of a sign to keep moving. After all, I had spent three weeks here in Jasper, Canada, and I was really starting to get comfortable in this town. That is until I woke up one morning and couldn't see anything. up to a spot called Horseshoe Lake. I heard there's some pretty gnarly cliffs here. I'm gonna go over there. Hopefully some other people are jumping because I'm really trying to get wet. Oh, this is pretty gnarly. Wow. I'm definitely gonna get wet. Unfortunately, I made it all the way to the cliff and forgot my contact, so definitely don't wanna throw myself off this rock without vision. The first contestant. <laughs> Take all the time you need. You got that. Alright, this is the sender. Send it. Get it, brother. Cheers, mom. I love you. I love coming to the cliff jumping spot and starting tension. Who's up? <laughs> Who's sending it, boys? What a beautiful place. Horseshoe Lake, met a bunch of good people. I went back to my new friend's campsite for a bonfire. As soon as I entered the campsite, I am just overwhelmed with the smell of pine wood. It's a couple welfare tents in the work here, bud. Uh, you know, just getting her on might get a little spitting going on tonight the neighbors got this set up though no oh they're making me look bad oh, what are these welfare folks honestly like canada's sick really cool country to live in hey rick how did the canadians get the logs back in the fire actually sometimes you just got to dummy them back in there by yourself sometimes they get mucked out just take your drawers up a little bit so you don't burn <laughs> yourself there bud sander When I got back to town, I was actually told that the fire from the previous morning had burnt out the city's power lines, resulting in a week-long blackout. For the first time in weeks, this place had felt apocalyptic as people lined up at the gas station and scavenged for last-minute food. It was my time to hit the road once again. I went to breakfast at this place this morning and they have a generator. I'm pretty sure it's the only restaurant in town that I could get a bite to eat for dinner. The town is in a full-on blackout. Nothing's open. Nobody has power except a couple people that have generators. This is day number three without power and I'm about to drive to Banff. It's about 200 miles. Unfortunately, I can't even fill up my van though because the gas pumps are turned off. So we're just gonna risk it. Just woke up and I'm here at a place today called Athabasca Falls. This waterfall is known for its perfectly blue water. I guess it's not that blue anymore. It's more of like a greenish color now, but I grew up seeing pictures of this place, especially this little rock platform right here. So I do know that it can hold somebody's body weight. I'm gonna walk on it, wish me luck. Pretty sure you're supposed to stay on that side behind the fences there, but I kind of finessed. There's the view. Pretty epic. Little island in the middle. Sun Wapta. Back on the road. I found this little path to get down here to the photo spot. I think it was worth it. Felt like it was time to leave Jasper finally after three weeks and I'm on my way to Banff. The perfect mate. The rest
rest can go into my thermos. I'm gonna pack this up and we're on our way to another waterfall. This is the life right here. The sun officially came out. Today is beautiful. Pretty weird seeing that much ice in the middle of the summer. I didn't even have to walk at all to get to this spot. It's right here on the side of the road. Shout out Canada, this place is awesome. So all of the waterfalls I saw this morning are stemming from that glacier right there. The Athabasca Glacier. Wow, it's massive. Apparently in the next 75 years, that glacier is gonna be completely melted, which is just a shame. Well, this viewpoint is nuts. Feels so much bigger than the United States. 